What's good? It's Jigozi. Friday, March 11th, 2022. And as you're not surprised, Columbus, Ohio performs another ritual today by the numbers. They contrive a shooting on I-71, 71 days from the start of Gemini. And this was brought to my attention by Shy Divine and Zachary K. Hubbard. Thank both of you for letting me know about this. We're going to look at Zach Hubbard's blog post that he showed you. Gamatraeffect.news is his site. He exposes this Jesuit cabal. Been doing it, he's been doing it since 2013, showing you how they use Gamatria, numerology, dates in the calendar to script all this stuff by the numbers. And he shows you how the Society of Jesus equals 71, like Catholic 71, on I-71 North, 71 days before the start of Gemini. Gemini starts May 21st, 2020, right? That's Gemini, the first day of Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury. And this is things Rambo has been showing you. Understand, Mercury is the god of transportation. That's why this is happening on a highway, you're right, where there's cars, on an interstate transportation this is a mercury ritual gemini ritual from the columbus division of police and they use gematria to do this catholic 71 right interstate 71 c's the third letter a is the first t is the 20th add them up 71 the society of jesus also equals 71 columbus ohio and jesuit order equal 54 and 153 the state of Ohio is heavily coded by the Jesuits. That's why you have Dayton, Ohio, with the 144-54, like, Jesuit order. Understand this. See? The capital city. And then we have Dayton, Ohio, which is another city. It's not the capital, but it's another city. And it's one of the, it's one of the I guess, four major cities in Ohio. Four or five, because, you know, Toledo is one of those two. But anyway, all by the code. So you see how it's 71 days. Also, two months and 11 days if you count the end date. So this is without including the end date. Including the end date is two months, 11 days. Ohio equals 47. So does Columbus. Columbus, 47. Ohio, 47. This is happening in Columbus, Ohio. Right? Two months, 11 days from the start of Gemini. What does that mean then? That means that it's a span of 72 days from the start of Gemini. And what does Ohio do? They do Buckeye rituals every single day, all the time. And we're going to see them crazily here. Buckeye equals 72. Again, pay attention right here. Buckeye equals 72, 27, 117, and 36. And how do we get this? Because B is the second letter, U is the 21st. C is the third, K is the 11th, E is the 5th, Y is the 25th, E is the 5th. You add them up, 72. You see how you use the 21st letter? 2 plus 1 is 3. K becomes 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2. Y becomes 7 because 2 plus 5 is 7. So you sum each letter to a single digit, add them up, Buckeye 27. Reverse in the alphabetical order. Where A is 26, Z is 1, Buckeye is 117, and then when you do that numerology I just showed you, Buckeye is 36. These are the four main numbers for Buckeye they use all the time in their rituals. There's no doubt they do this. Again, News come here for plenty of good information. In Zach's first book, he even talks about the Buckeye Code, how they do it by these numbers. So again, this is nothing you know, new or anything. It's what these people have been doing forever, for many, many years. So to, for starters, at 527, they update this at, see? This is from 10TV, 527. So the 27th minute of the hour, the 27th minute of the hour, they update this at. Buckeye equals 27. 117, right? Columbus Division of Police, 117, 360, like 117 and 36. See, they code it inside the name of the police, who are the Freemasons, the Jesuits. And as I showed you, the shooting happens a span of 72 days from the start of Gemini. Buckeye equals 36. This happened on a date with 36 numerology, March 11th, 2022, 3 plus 11 plus 22, 36. In the Polaris area, it's like a, an area of Columbus. Polaris, Polaris equals 36. And there's more riddles with Polaris. It happens 119 days from Superior General's birthday. Polaris with their 119 rotation, year rotation. We'll look at that. There's more that Zach showed you. I want to go through this. 
is a 119 day rotational period. And today is 119 days after the Superior General's birthday, Arturo Sosa, born November 12, 1948, Vatican 119, Francis 119, Fraternal Order, Fraternal Order Police 119, and they have a stars their logo. See, rotation, 119 days, Polaris. Up in the, again, guys, they, they, this Polaris, I know, I've known them using Polaris for these rituals here all the time. It's just nothing new. They do this shit all the time. It's so fucking annoying how they're always doing these riddles here. And people are so asleep to it. That's why I'm so grateful for Zach and others exposing this stuff. North Star, 56. Society of Jesus, 56. Pope equals 56. And then, they, again, they let you know, according to FOP, Capital City Lodge President, you know, Lodge, these are Freemasons, President Jeff Simpson, a woman called police saying she was being fired at on the freeway. There was an active shooter. Fraternal Order of Police, again, 119. They're letting you know. Look at their logos, the star. And then today, March 11th, is a great day to pay tribute to the universe. Universe equals 113. So again, it's already without a doubt who's responsible, what they're doing. So again, we're going to look at the Buckeye numbers and how they're doing it. So, so a recap. 527, they updated this at the 27th minute of the hour. 72 days from the start of Gemini. Right? From the Columbus Vi Division of Police, 11736. They're involved in the shooting. They're the ones shot in the shooting, supposedly. I did with 36 numerology, like Buckeye, like Polaris. And the shooting comes two months, seven days from Mike DeWine's birthday. Again, they always do rituals with the Buckeye numbers from the birthday of Mike DeWine and from the, also the mayor and lieutenant governor. I'll show you this. So Buckeye 27, two months, seven days from his 75th birthday. See, he's born January 5th, 1947. 47 is the 15th prime, so he's born 1, 5, like 15, and 47, Ohio 47, time 47, Columbus 47. See this? Two months, seven days. They always do this. Buckeye equals 27 in the most pure cipher. The shooting comes what? One month, 17 days from the Columbus mayor's 47, upcoming 47 birthday. I'm not making this shit up. Andrew Ginther. I've called this guy out. I've gone out pound pavement, called him out. You guys know about this actor. This loser, this agent for the Jesuits. Born on the 117th day of the year as well. One month, 17 days from his birthday. Look at this crap. His birthday, April 27th, 1975. That's the 117th day of the year. One month, 17 days from his upcoming birthday. This happens. So we have 117. Again, this is the Buckeye pattern they always use. One month, 17 days from the mayor's birthday. Two months, seven days from the governor's birthday. How do you see this and say, oh, this is organic. This is actually happening. Oh, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not the crazy person. You, you got to be crazy to see this pattern and deny it. And he's born on the 117th day of the year. Look at his birth numerology. 117th day of the year, 106 numerology, Columbus 106. Mike DeWine, 53. 53 is the 16th prime, Ohio 16. Sure, shooting 107, but I'm trying to show you the very specific Ohio numbers in his birthday. Of course, you have the Catholic 35. And look at the lieutenant governor, John Houston. Six months, 14 days from his 54th birthday. 614 is the Columbus area code. I mean, this is so scripted. See, six months, 14 days. His birthday, August 25th, 1967. See, six months, 14 days, 614. See, Columbus, the 614 area code generally covers the central region of the state serving the community of Columbus. I mean, you can't deny this. It's right here in your face. And of course, they're mentioning I-270. Again, another 27, Buckeye 27, I-71, 71 days from Gemini, Catholic 71, the site of Jesus 71. They even mentioned State Route 3 to US 36, Buckeye 36. See, Buckeye 36, 27, we get them here with the highways. This is just ridiculous. I'm going to recap this one more time because, it, again, I, I hate to be so repetitive, but when you see how they use, again, we have all four numbers here. 72 days from the start of Gemini, two months, seven days from the governor's birthday, one month, 17 days from the mayor's upcoming birthday. And then they mentioned, you know, by Highway 36, 
Polaris equals 36. Then with 36 numerology, it happens. 3 plus 11 plus 22. And I aimed well before this. I've been ranting and raving and raving. Guys, this is the Buckeye pattern. They love to use it. They do this all the time. Guys, why, why do I care so much about this? It's not because I'm from Ohio. You might think that. It, maybe it is because I'm sick of being mocked by these people. But guys, again, like I'm sitting here. Just, I can't fathom how someone can see this riddle and deny it. I, I really, it just, it blows my mind. Look at their birthdays. 117. The mayor born the 117th day, day of the year. I'm just going to close, you know, finish off with here. I'm not going to keep repeating this, repeating this, but I hope you get it. They put the numbers for Buckeye every single time in their riddles. Every single time in their riddles. You see it right here. This is just, this is just undeniable. And we even get the area code from the lieutenant governor's birthday. I mean, it, Guys, I mean, you think Zach goes to 10TV, local Columbus news? No, he, he saw this probably on the mainstream media and crap. So this becomes a mainstream media story by these numbers. You see how these, it lines up perfectly with all their birthdays on this day at 113, big dishonest number. So I did notice that they published it at 1032, updated it at 559. Yes, 59 is the 17 prime. Ohio, Ohio is the 17th state. But the Negro equals 1359, and I think the perpetrator was black. They have show, show him running on the freeway like a black guy. You're holding his pants, everything like, you know, you know how they do it. Just another, another one of their actors or some patsy. But guys, at this point, I think it's, this whole thing is completely staged. I mean, again, this, no, there's, there's no way in my mind this is even slightly organic. I can only say maybe they're using you know, some kind of magic, some kind of mind control. If the guy actually did something, you know, they could be doing some advanced stuff like that, but... No. So I link Zach's blog post here so you can go check it out. That's what this, this information is from I was looking at here. He's on Gamacho Effect News 25 right now as well. You definitely got to check that out. YouTube keeps deleting him, banning him, blocking him for obvious reasons. He's exposing them. So they're saying he was a 21-year-old as well. It's the guy who's it's the guy who's exchanging gunfire with police. Jesuit equals twenty one. Twin equals twenty one. Referring to Gemini. Before I forget, twins equals thirty two, and they publish it at the thirty second minute of the hour. Negro thirty two, but it's probably more to that. They're saying that he's driving a gray Ford Fusion, or you knows at least one of the cars involved in this. Excuse me, Ford Fusion 53, like shooting. Look at Gary Wolski, the Fraternal Order of Police President. Gary Wolski said the officer has been treated and released. Wolski added the officer was not injured with gunshot wounds. Gary Wolski 53, like shooting. And then I just noticed the Ohio, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation, who are handling the investigation. No, they're the ones who put this on by the numbers. Their name equals 187 in the most pure cipher, like Society of Jesus, like Ohio in the Satanic cipher. Of course, it equals 560, like 56, like Society of Jesus 56 and 187. See, the Society of Jesus puts their numbers in this. They run Columbus, Ohio. I really don't think anyone in this, in this community is denying this. I hope not. Society of Jesus 56, 187, just like in their name. You see this? And then 209, Ohio equals 29. And then they say, according to Ohio State Highway Patrol, which we've exposed so many times, we see how Ohio State Highway Patrol sacrifices their officers. They do so many rituals, do everything by the numbers. So many of the officers retire after 27 years or 29 years. Buckeye 27, Ohio 29. So we know for a fact they do this ritualistic practice. They're a bunch of Freemasons and Jesuits. You know who's. So, so according to them, Ohio State Highway Patrol, a vehicle matching the same description as the suspect's vehicle was also involved in a hit-skip crash at 9.37 a.m. on I-70 westbound in Franklin County. There were no injuries, and the crash remains under investigation. 9.37 is the 159 Prime, Scottish Wright 159. That's also Dayton, Ohio's area code, and I'm thinking, is that like a, a nod to just some Jesuit order? coded city again or something i don't know maybe not maybe that's maybe that's, there's more to that shooting equals 37 
And then freeway equals 106 like Columbus. And again, freeway. Merc it's a big Mercury ritual. Again, as Zach showed you, 71 days from the start of Gemini, right? And what is it? The ruler is Mercury. And Mercury is the god of transportation and boundaries, borders. But transportation on a highway, come on. That's why you have the Ohio State Highway Patrol and all these other people in here. Again, uh, how long have I gone? Because I'm not trying to waste your time and waste your energy with this. It's just, that's why I'm so repetitive. I, I mean, please, let's, like, let's have a discussion. Let's, you know, ask me questions. How are you going to sit there and say this is stupid or whatever when these numbers come together so easily? Again, it's not just the Gamatria, just the, no, no, it's not that. Look how the Gamatria comes together with the update time with the days from their birthday. One last time, updated at 527. A span of 72 days from the start of Gemini, two months, seven days from the governor's birthday, one month, 17 days from the mayor's birthday, who's born in the 117th day of the year, right? And then this, their area code is 614 in Columbus, and it's six months, 14 days from the lieutenant governor's birthday. This is contrived trash. That's the only conclusion you should have. It is a staged scene from the Columbus Division of Police whose name also equals 117 and 360, like Buckeye, 117.36. Ohio equals 117 in the Jewish cipher. Their state song. I mean, I'm not going to show you the preamble. I, like, I do this all the time. I'm trying to spend more time, but just Ohio state song, in case you didn't know. The state song, they have two, but the, the original one equals has a Buckeye pattern in it. Their preamble does too. Again, this is something I'm not trying to pull your leg or... or, or, or mislead you beautiful beautiful ohio it's the anthem beautiful ohio from 1969 beautiful ohio 207 72 like buckeye 27 72 63 to reflection of 36 you see how they do this jesuit order 144 63 and 72 as well this is from the jesuit order they run the state of ohio it is no doubt in my mind Anyone saying it's not the Jesuits is fucking stupid, period. I'm sorry, you're dumb as fuck. It's clearly these people, they do, they, again, I sure, they could be answering to some invisible, okay, but these are the people on record that are doing this shit, and we can point the finger at them easily so, so we can stop them. Like, why are you trying to play all these games? It's clear the Jesuit order. So, with a little bit of time left, you might as well watch the video, because I want to see the video for the end. It's like a four-minute video. Just see how fake this crap is. Jonathan Myers. Yeah, I never. I didn't even decode his name. I mean, I did, but I didn't throw in my decode. This is at the 66. You know, Ford Fusion FF66. There's more 66 in this as well. Jesuit Order 177. New World Order 174. That Jonathan 119. Connected to Polaris with the 119-day rotation, you know, period. Fraternal Order Police 119. Look how they spell. Yeah, I've seen this name. I've seen Jonathan spelled this way before, but it's not that common of a way to spell it. It's contrived. And then Myers with the Satan numbers. 80 and 55. And again, there's always more, but for the sake of time, let's watch this fake-ass video. It's four minutes, five seconds long. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brittany. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brittany Bailey. Yolanda and Andrew are off tonight. Now, this story is still developing in the last hour. We've learned from the Delaware County prosecutor. The suspect's name is Jonathan Myers. Oh, yeah, Delaware County, Delaware equals 33. They love to participate in these rituals as well. It's funny. We're just talking about Delaware, Ohio and, and script, script, see through the scripts podcast last weekend. And now they're here doing some rituals by the numbers and an attempted murder charge will be filed against him. Also, that section of I-71 between I-270 and US-36, State Route 37, is still- See, notice how she said that. I-270 and U State Route what, 36. She paired the 27 with the 36. This is an agent reading off a script, giving you the Buckeye code. Again, in the state of Ohio, this is the code they use. They use other codes, of course, other numbers. But these numbers for Buckeye, they lace them in all of the rituals. I cannot say it enough. Look, see Gemini Place right here. They even put it, see, they let you know. See the Gemini Place over here in Polaris? This is why it's a Gemini ritual. There's a Gemini pla or pal or Place in Polaris. On the highway, you drive past this all the time. This is, see, this is not an accident. That's why it's 71 days 
from the start of Gemini on I-71. Still closed tonight. It looks like a few vehicles are getting there by there on the right side of your screen. And you can see why it was closed for so long. It was a big scene involving multiple law enforcement agencies. And only on 10, a couple who was caught in the middle of it all is sharing a frightening story. This is bullshit. And as we come around a corner, we saw a bunch of flashing lights. Then I noticed some people on the road. I noticed one guy walking north. He's running. It just seems like everything was in slow motion. When all of a sudden, so he's black. We Look at that. The guy that was heading north turned around and shot twice towards the police officers. Oh my! That's probably an act. Kind of a moment in time that freezes, and you're like, "Am I really seeing this?" Gosh, Todd. The longer you go down the road, he's just like, I can't believe we went through that. And your heart just starts beating. Holy cow. Keep watching the video oh. and keep replaying it. It's scary, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's like something. You it's scary to be honest with you. They're scaring you. And again, what have I told you? Again, Elaine Bryant, her, her ass even came out and said this. They want more police, less guns. We need to get the guns off the street and have more police personnel. This is literally what she said in their press conference. So this is not me, it's me being a conspiracy. No, this is literally what the Columbus Division of Police have come out to say. And what do these people do? They create the problem and provide the solution. So they're creating the problem to provide the solution. They're already having their gun turn-in. I've showed you this stuff. They've done your gun turn-in stuff. You can give you free this and that if you turn in your guns. I mean, this is pathetic. You see in a movie, but it's right. See, it's what you see in a movie, but it's right there in front of you. See, this is a movie. You're living, you're living out a Jesuit movie in this in this sense. You know, I mean, they're they're putting theatrics in front of you, guys. Again, you don't. How do you, again? This is either someone under mind control, paid to do this, some patsy being used, being tricked into doing this, or an actor. And based on how this is coming out, so by the numbers, so on point. That's my conclusion. This is an actor. This is a stage scene. They're probably using blanks or, you know, movie-style rounds to stage a scene by the numbers. This is what these people do here in Ohio and other states as well and around the world. Watching the video and keep replaying it. It's scary, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's like something you see in a movie, but it's right in front of you. Well, tonight we are learning more about what led up to this shooting, including how the suspect is accused of firing at a van of students on the way to the state wrestling tournament. 10 TV's Kiana Deitches is live with the latest from the school and from police. Good My evening, parents Kiana. Scared. Yeah, good evening, Brittany. The school says that a single shot was fired into that van and none of the four people inside were hurt. As for the suspect, we know he is stable and an officer was checked out just to be safe. Police say tonight he has made it home to his family. A police cruiser on I-71, a shot through the hood, several holes in the windshield, all while an officer was sitting inside. You got thousands of cars on a heavy traffic on 71 on a Friday morning. It was just before 10 o'clock this morning when calls came in for help. When officers arrived, the suspect still had possession of the firearm. At some point during the interaction, we can confirm that the officers exchanged shots with the suspect. He Drivers lying from to you. the opposite direction had their cameras rolling as it happened. The suspect that was out of their vehicle shooting at others, shooting at the officers. So Before fake. this, the suspect was seen on the side of the road with a woman. See, they showed a Gemini place. See, by Gemini place. See, Gemini place. This is not an accident. Exit 121, blood sacrifice 121. It's not an accident. Guys, I've, I've driven on this so many times. This is just in my neck of the woods. This is what they do. This is why I'm sick of this fucking place. Rituals all the time. You can't escape them. Everyone's afraid of this shit now. Oh, yeah, please step up your game. Please, we need more police. We need more authority, more surveillance. Because they stage this nonsense. And, guys, this is, this is a 71. I mean, this goes, what? Doesn't 71 go to Florida or whatever? This is a long highway. Like, it's... Not just you know in Ohio, it goes to Michigan, all sorts of shit. So this is a bullshit scene. Was seen on the side of the road with a woman. Police won't say what that was about, but did say the woman wasn't hurt. There's. I mean, guys, I don't mean to pause it a lot, but look at the clues they're giving him. Look at this car, Rentco with the fifty-four seventy-two on it. I mean, come on. And what that was about. 
I mean, come on. Bell, but did say the they, guys again. This is a, this is a traffic jam for so long, and they give you this scene with five four seven two zero Sun fifty four. Jesuit Order 5472. That's the main thing. Jesuit Order 5472. Buckeye 72. Columbus, Ohio 54. With the red and blue pills of Freemasonry. What is Rent Co. even equal? This is so silly. Oh, 30, 33, of course, it equals 33. 30. I knew Gemini. Oh, yeah, no, Gemini 33 as well. 39. I mean, this is just contrived. This is just so. This is so stupid. Again, if you're not from Ohio, don't fall from this, for this. If you're from Ohio, you definitely better not fall for this shit. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you if you do? The woman wasn't hurt. There's damage to at least three cars that were passing by. The police cruiser Four is heavily prime. damaged, but all are going to be Judge okay. With the officers are all going home, and the suspect was neutralized, and that's the most important thing. Again, the suspect is stable. Ohio BCI is taking over this investigation. But, Brittany, this is the second officer involved shooting that they've had to handle just this week. We'll hear more See? from that coming up at 6. For now, reporting live in Delaware County, Kiana Deitches, 10 TV News. This is so stupid. Kiana, thank you. And just an hour ago, Mayor Andrew Ginther expressed frustration about the shooting. Really? He said in a statement, today's events prove that gun violence is a public health crisis, and it is crucial we address it every way we can, not just by catching the shooters, but by stopping the flood of illegal guns flowing into our community. Now, we have been on top of this story since this morning. You can see all of our reporting on 10TV.com and our free You know I do. Yeah. Yes, you know I do. You know, I'm, one of their, I'm literally one of their biggest fans i mean I'm, I'm, i love going to 10 tv to expose their bullshit again andrew ginther showing you that what that was a statement from andrew ginther one month 17 days from his birthday he's born on the 117th day of the year buck equals 117 ohio equals 117 so do you believe any crap that that actor just said that it, literally just come out saying the script these, these guys these are jesuit pawns and agents sent to lead you down the path of their agenda he's literally saying oh we need to get illegal guns off the street this is what they've been saying. This is their clear agenda. This is a clear agenda. That's why I love how the police have come out and said it themselves. We need to get rid of guns and increase personnel. This is from their fucking mouth. So, again, without making this too, too much longer, yeah, we're almost at 30 minutes. I'm going to close it. I, I Again, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I don't know what else to tell you. This, this The video was stupid. It's a big... It's by Gemini place, 71 days from Gemini, an I-71... I all the Buckeye numbers, 72 days, a span of 72 days from the start of Gemini, two months, seven days from the governor's birthday, one month, 17 days from the mayor's birthday, six months, 14 days from the lieutenant governor's birthday, mentioning Highway 36. I mean, I'm done. Again, if you have questions, ask the questions. I, I'm not here to be, like, I, I, again, I, let me just end the video. I'm, I'm wasting my time even talking. A lot of you already get it, and I understand. I appreciate you all for understanding this shit, but, I mean, come on. This is this is one of the most obvious buck I riddles these fuckers ever ever did. Peace out.